So I suppose you may be wondering why an industrial gas company like ourselves gets involved in farming, because there doesn't seem to be too much of a correlation between gas and farming. But I think from the, the first meeting with InMed uh, a little while ago, it was, it was clear that both uh, air products, uh, particularly our corporate social investment strategy and the aims of the InMed organisation were clearly aligned. <coughs> You know, we realised for some time, in fact way back uh, in the early part of the, uh, the starting and the beginnings of air products, that uh, companies like ourselves can make a valuable contribution uh, to the communities in, in which we operate. And as I think most of you know, we have a major facility down here at Funderbell Park, and both InMed and air products realise it's critically important to continue to develop commercial, agricultural, technical skills both at the school as well as in the community at large. Subsequent to the launch, uh, I understand we have six grow beds that have been managed by the school. I know that uh, there have been uh, several crops that have been grown quite successfully. Uh, I think uh, things like tomatoes and cucumbers and uh, green peppers have been successfully grown and harvest, harvested from these beds. The school has also uh, experimented with a number of other crops. I think the children have got involved and uh, have attended the first lessons in aquaponics. So whilst farming seems a long way from, uh, from the world of industrial gases, it's our belief at Air Products that we direct the resources that we have available to us in terms of our social investment uh, to focus in areas where we can grow and uh, develop uh, young children. Their products, we believe that it's uh, exceptionally important that we unlock the true potential that we have in, in the country and the only way we can do this is by educating and giving exposure to our children. So much of our social investment strategy is focused around particularly young children and particularly those that have come, back, come from disadvantaged communities. This particular project is the first of its kind at a school in South Africa and I think these uh, children are going to be the first to get, get exposed to aquaponics in terms of the agricultural training program.